Hi, my name is Phil, and I'm part of the OnePassword Developer Relations team. Today, I have something exciting to show you. .env files are a great way to configure environment variables that are needed for local development, but they come with some challenges. For one, they can lead to secrets being stored in plain text on disk. You have to avoid committing them to version control so the secrets they include aren't exposed. They can be difficult to securely update and share across teams since they're not in version control. OnePassword environments can now automatically populate a local.env file on demand. Let's create a new environment using OnePassword. From the Developer tab in OnePassword, click View Environments. We're going to create a new environment. Let's give it a name. Now let's import some environment variables from a backup of a file I have on hand. You'll see that 1Password has imported the existing variables within the file. I'm going to set some of the lesser sensitive information as visible so that it can be visible at all times without revealing it. Next, we're going to head over destinations, click configure destination, and we're going to choose a path on my local system where we want this .env file to show. And then we're going to mount it. Great, so here is the location of the .env file. Now back in terminal, you'll see the .env file appear in yellow. The file is there, but it is now being managed by 1Password, and it is not tracked by Git. Let's see what happens when we try to access it. 1Password prompts me for authentication approval. This helps prevent unauthorized access to env files moving forward. 1Password is asking me for permission to populate the env file with variables stored from within 1Password. I approve it, and the variables are made available to my application. With 1Password now managing my environment's files, the secrets are protected and collaboration becomes possible. We're releasing this into beta, and we'd love your feedback in the 1Password community. And to learn more about this feature, head on over to developer.onepassword.com. Thank you, and happy coding.